Hi there, Jean Greer here at Stylish Fireplaces. Today I want to introduce you to Amanti's Panorama series of linear fireplaces. The Panorama series comes in two depths, the deep, which is around 12 inches, which is the one I'm going to show you today, and the slim, which is closer to about seven, seven and a half inches. And we'll talk about that another time. On the face of it, the Panorama series in the slim and the deep look very similar. They, the dimensions of the window, are identical. The frame that is optional, that's removable, is available on both. The glass is tilted back on both so that they can have the heat vent hidden up here so that you really get a clean face on these. The difference is with the deep series, because it is 12 inches deep, there is a deeper media tray inside and there's room for an extra set of lights that shines down on that media tray. So it does have slightly different features. And because it's a little deeper, there are also different media packages that can fit inside. So we've set ours up with their ice crystal package, but there are also some log sets available, a rustic, a birch, and a driftwood package. And so one of those packages would be included with the unit you get to choose. And there's just so much more room in here to have that package sitting along this ledge. And generally speaking with electric, my feeling is that as you get a little more depth inside there, you tend to get some nicer effects. You definitely get more features because there's a little more space for those components to be tucked away in the unit. One of the things you'll notice about my installation here is it is frameless. There is no frame. These leather panels come right up to the window where the fire is. These units do have a frame on them and it looks something like this, but that frame is removable. So if I want a very clean frameless look, I can remove the frame and bring my materials right down to this lip around the window. Now that lip is only about three eighths of an inch deep. So you do have to think about what your materials are, what you want to put on this unit, around the unit, and whether those, the depth of those materials are going to come up neatly to this three eighths inch flange. If your materials are deeper, you're gonna to have to think about, do I wanna see the leading edge of that material beyond this flange? So for instance, Certain stone slabs would be more like three quarters of an inch deep. Those are going to have to somehow be beveled down to three eighths if we're going to have a frameless installation like mine. So there is a little bit of planning involved. The other reason you need to plan ahead with these units and really think about your installation is this window is very slim, maybe 10, 11 inches high but there's a lot more box behind these walls. So there's metal behind here, there's metal behind here. So the box itself is much higher than what you're seeing in this window. So obviously my wall materials have come down over the firebox and that requires a different type of planning and framing to get this installed and tested and ready before the wall is closed. So much more like a gas fireplace. It's really truly built in. For that reason, it is a hard wire unit. These units do come with a plug on them, but we have to stress that if you don't have access to that plug after it's installed, which would be the case in the majority of installations, then that plug needs to be removed once you've tested the unit and uh, satisfied yourself that everything is working properly. That's why the plug is there. It's simply a convenience feature for testing at the early stages of installation, make sure the box is working properly. Then you take that cord off and you do a direct wire and obviously you would test it again before you finish up your installation. Service is meant to be done through the front glass. So if there are ever any issues with the firebox itself, we can certainly address those through without having to remove it from the wall, of course, through the front glass. But if there's an electrical issue because it wasn't connected properly, that's not something we can address. So we always stress that once you put this into position in your framing, before you close the wall, do test it using the, the plug that's included. Make sure all the features are working so that you know that your electrical connection is 
working and you know that our fireplace is working and then you direct wire it and proceed to finish your wall. You also have to think about the wall materials. So with this unit, because you're going right over the fireplace, if you were to putting drywall on the wall around the fireplace, that drywall would actually stop at the top of the firebox inside the wall, and then your finishing material would come down over the drywall and right onto the metal of the firebox so that everything is flush. If you were to put your drywall right down to this window and then put your materials on, obviously they would be hanging out past this nice little flange. So definitely some planning involved with the installation of the Panorama series. But if you like a frameless look, a truly frameless look, this is the series for you. So this is a BI deep, so BI 40, 50, 60, 72, or 88 wide, 12 inches deep, thus the deep at the end of it. And it has Amante's Fire and Ice flame set. It's a flame set that I also like to refer to as the Northern Lights. It sort of takes up the entire backdrop of the fireplace and then the flames can change color as in all Amante units and I'll step back in a minute and show you that. And as the flames change color, the ember bed underneath changes as well. And because this is the deep unit, there's an extra set of ambient lights that can shine down on the media tray. So let me step back and show you what those look like and you can decide for yourself which way you'd like to set it up. So first I'm going to step through the flame colors. So you've got orange, yellow, and blue, as in most of the Amante series these days. So there's your yellow, and then if you want a little more vibrant flame, you, you can cool it down with blue. You can, let's just put up more blue here. You can add more orange if you like a more vibrant flame. And that you can see as you mix the colors, blue and yellow and add in the orange, you're going to get different shades of violet and pink as well as those lights blend together. And then the other thing you have is ambient lighting that's shining down. So I've turned those on now, it's blue, red. You can cycle through and you get a completely different look and I particularly like this with the ice crystals because it really makes those crystals sparkle. So if diamonds are a girl's best friend, this series with the ice crystals in there and those blue diamond pieces is definitely the way to go. If you like a little bling, this is the way I would set it up. And that ambient lighting really brings out the sparkle in the crystals. And if I turn that off, you'll see the difference. So you get a lot of nice features with that overhead lighting. This is what the frame looks like. So this is the frame that comes with the unit and this frame can be removed which we've done on ours but this is the the size of the frame if you don't want a frameless or if your installation materials require you to have a frame on them as it would with certain thicker materials like stone. This is the frame that would go on the unit but as we say it's removable and our installation is frameless here. Uh, so that's a really clean look that a lot of people like. There are basic heat functions on this, low and high. If the heater is on, the blower is on. Of course, you can have flames without heat as in any electric fireplace. And as I mentioned previously, the heat is gonna vent out here through a hidden vent above the glass. The glass is tilted back to allow them to fit that heat vent in without having any visible venting on the front face. So it's an extremely clean look for those who don't like to see the vent. So again, this is the Amante Panorama series, the deep unit, so 12 inches deep. And that's available on stylishfireplaces.ca under Amante Panorama BI Deep, or if you look on our website, Shop by Style, you would look at in-wall linear fireplaces.